Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's web whiz video number 12 where once again I take you on a very quick tour through one of my favourite mathematical websites. Now I must confess straight up this week that this is by no means one of my discoveries and in fact this came through on the newsletter that I subscribed to from the amazing Colleen Young's maths blog that I chatted about um, a few weeks ago. So if you've not subscribed to that yet, what are you doing? Get subscribing, it's full of amazing maths tips. And the one that she recommended this week was that we all visit the amazing website mathsflash.com so uh, let's google it now you've got to be careful when you google this one because there's lots of flash maths and all that stuff going but if you do maths flash and you don't leave any spaces then hopefully there it is there mathsflash.com give that a click now i had not seen this website before and i was absolutely blown away and i played around with it for a good hour or so and the idea behind it, it's a math, math teacher from London, I believe, who set this up. And the idea behind it is that any kind of current news story that's going on, this teacher tries to find a little maths activity around it. And if I just click on the About Maths Flash bit, you'll see that one of the things he's trying to do at the moment is to add two brand new activities a day, which is some uh, something to attempt, but so far things are looking brilliant. So I'll just talk you through the site. It's got a brilliant search facility down here, kind of a bit like the uh, the eBay model, where you just click, you can refine it however you want. So uh, you can search by the main categories, which are news, sport, entertainment, weather, fun, or more textbook style things or you can search by specific topics so if for example and this is this is very true for me i want a shape and space topic because i'm teaching it to quite a couple of classes this week and i click search then i get all the shape and space topics there and that's then broken down into subtopics such as circles angles bearing symmetry and all that kind of stuff now what i've done is i just had a quick flick through this and I've picked out some of my favourites that caught my eye. So let's have a look at them. Uh, the first one was this, uh, a little Christmas puzzle. Now what uh, is happening on this website is that every week leading up to Christmas, there's a Christmas themed puzzle. So this is a very nasty one um, about probability involving crackers. And if ever you want the solution, you just click on that one there. But uh, I'll leave that there just in case anybody wants to have a think about it. There's a little twist in that one that uh, might catch a few teachers and students out, in fact. Uh, another one here is a little equation or identity, which is very nice. So you get all these things there, and you've got to decide whether they're functions, identities, equations, or not. And you can imagine whizzing this up at the start or at the end of a lesson on, on algebra. And if you want the answers all the time, you just click there, which is very, very, very nice. A little match-up act activity there which is fantastic um, then we've got um, you may have seen in the news that Nick Hewitt from The Apprentice has been um, hired as a new host of Countdown so there's a nice little themed puzzle here where um, some of the best Countdown puzzles have been selected and again you can imagine just doing that as a little starter um, in the lesson there with and a nice little Countdown conundrum to finish Let's have a look here. We've got the tennis ATP finals going on at the moment. And this is a really nice little puzzle. This is the uh, four players who've reached the semi-finals of that. And it's a nice little two-way table problem to sort out from the limited information you've got. Can you fill out all the missing numbers? Couple more. Really nice one here about China's smartphones. A little fact that came out in the newspaper there that 24 million smartphones were ordered just in those three months there. And the question related to that is a ratio one that builds up to a pretty nasty one about fractions, which is really nice. And the final one that I picked out here, um, and it's good again to make students aware of all the stuff going on in the world as much as possible. Here's a really nice one about the Brazil rainforest being under threat. Um, Brazil, the, a new law could result in the loss of 175 million acres of forest, and there's a little conversion information there. And the question, it relates it to the area of the United Kingdom. So a bit of conversion, and a bit of division going on there to work that out. So lots of things that you could just quickly build into the starter end of the lesson. And as I say, just like with Guardian Data Blog, I'm always a big fan of if anything's going on in the news, trying to make it, bring it into the lesson as quickly as possible to keep maths as relevant. And this website is an absolute godsend for that because as you can see, pretty much every day a brand new activity arrives that's to do with something going on in the news. So please have a little play around with this. Um, if you've used it and you found a, uh, found something particularly nice about it um, or you've um, got a different way of using it please uh, jump onto the test page and just fill it out in the comments below and that is mathsflash.com and that's this week's web whiz video take care and i'll be back with a brand new video next week bye for now